Okay, what is up? Okay, here's another one of my little projects for the car. Started to put this together. Um, this is just going to be a, another homemade homebrew controller that's going to do several things. Um, one is the anti theft. I usually take an analog input into the processor and uh, monitor the throttle uh, position. And that way I can let the car start and run. Uh, to run the air conditioner, you know, when I'm putting the kids in or getting gas or whatever, I could just, when I start it up, it'll run, but it's the, the, the homemade security will still uh, prevent it from being driven away, even if I leave the keys in it with it running. As soon as they have to use the throttle, it'll shut down. So I'll punch a little code or hit a hidden button, whichever way I do it, similar to how I got my Durango. And it'll do other things, operate some other controls and stuff like that, maybe do some readings. And uh, this is some... Uh, four line really nice blue uh, with white letter backlit LCDs I got from New Haven that they were doing on closeout so I picked them up a couple of them but uh, I was gonna make something and maybe mount this in the car somewhere but uh, I don't know it kind of might be changing what I'm gonna do if this is the clock it's a little pod that sits on the top uh, I'll put a little picture of it there on the inset there how it is in the car but basically it's just a clock <laughs> and it just plugs in so it got power and everything coming up to it it's on top of the dash there and but there's a clock in the radio so I can uh, basically utilize this to maybe put my LCD in a button or two up here so I got the screws out already but obviously this ain't gonna shoehorn in there not even close I have several of these still in stock the two line uh, LCD it's backlit this is just like your normal green. I think it's black on green, but not as pretty. I might have a blue one somewhere in this size. I'll look for it. But uh, I do believe I'm going to be able to just be able to Dremel this because it looks like I could probably Dremel that out. And uh, it's almost fit in there. You can see it's laying flat. It needs to go up like another eighth of an inch so that'll pop through there but I you can see there's a gap up on top because it's hitting these two points so the first thing I'm going to Dremel is I'm going to Dremel around off these corners right here and see if uh, if that will sit up in there and if it will then see if I can carefully knock attack this notch that out hopefully it don't look like crap There's a little bit of ground trace that goes all the way around, but not coming anywhere close to eating through it. This is how you do stuff when you do low bug, low buck, and home brew, you know, projects. That's probably enough right there. So, and that's just flat all the way up there. So, if I uh, now notch this, this should lay in there. Let me see. It's made to poke through a little bit. I'll probably wind up just epoxying this in there. In there. So it'll be pretty cool. It'll be something easy to get to. I can add uh, take all my various input and outputs and then probably tie them over here and I'm going to probably put a um, some sort of 8 pin or so Molex connector right there and then in and out this is my power 12 volts I'll have a in and output pins going right there so there will be more components on here depending on what I do most of the stuff is just logic level stuff and I have a relay or something that goes to tie in with the uh, fuel pump or cut the coil packs or something, probably a coil pack so the engine stalls more quickly when it's in anti-theft mode. And then uh, probably have a MOSFET on here to drive the <clears throat> license plate flip down <laughs> device if I do one like on my other vehicle, which I'll probably wind up doing. And uh, so I want that 
in built in. It's gonna, you know, and I'll probably have some inputs. Might be able to make some built in mode to do wideband uh, readout right on here, which I don't see any pro any problem with doing that. So a couple of whatever other stuff I might want to feed to it. late to turn back now. <laughs> that about the thing cut, cutting plaques because it, it melts a little bit and it kind of fuses itself back together a little bit. I'll have to go bigger with the cut this is just to get in there. So. My rough opening is getting there. Now we're starting to touch the circuit board just a little bit again. Just need enough of the pads there to solder on the wires. So. You know, probably just a, once I get my wires on here, I'll probably just epoxy this in there. So and I'll put a roll of black goo around when I shove that in there, and then kind of just pack it in there, and it'll look okay. So, and I was gonna say put a butt, a couple buttons there, but that's right where this is, so it's probably not gonna work like that. I'll put the button somewhere else. This will just be the display. So that's about got it. It's almost flush. So now basically, you know, that'll be the display. I'll clean that up. Okay, got that vacuumed up, so it should be close enough to, because it's pretty tight. I'll put some of that uh, cork tape, basically. Just think of that tar that you have around a, a window, probably around there, and then I'll be able to just meet it down in there when I'm done. Get that held in place. You know, just have to put some... Uh, Epoxy there, there, and probably some up here. It should sit right down in there. This is protruding down a little bit, but um, I'll just have to make the hole a little bigger in the car if that rubs. That's not that's not anything. So. Anyway, here's uh, the four line blue LCD with the white text. This was the one that would look awesome. It's just not gonna fit in there but just to show you what it looks like before I remove it and put the other one on there it's gonna just show some random stuff because I just dumped in a program from a water heater timer project that I knew would run the LCD off that chip so it had a pretty cool display on it this is randomly going through menus settings and stuff because all those pins for the inputs are just floating getting you know but it's a pretty cool looking LCD. So. But I'll have to put on that one, which is just your standard green with light up with black text, I believe. So, okay, and here's the uh, other one hooked up. Looks better than the camera showing. So it's just pretty much basic. And uh, now it's anyway, it's ready to start laying out some more input outputs, decide what I want to do, and then uh, program this sucker.
and then get it inside that uh that dash pod the factory dash pod that i just uh butchered up so stay tuned for some more